Hello, I'm Ryan Yip here with the recent news updates, and we will be talking about three topics today, and it's about if jailbreaking your iPod is illegal, uh, how can you improve security on an uh, iPhone, and we'll be talking about how, how har harmful is using the computer for too long. So, we'll get on with the first topic. So, is jailbreaking your phone illegal? So, hacking the iPod Touch is not illegal because uh, we have news reports from uh, other uh, reporters as well saying that while Apple would like to make you think it's illegal, uh, it is not, and it is impossible to get any uh, legal trouble for hacking it because you paid your money for your um, iPod Touch and your uh, phone. So, the possession is yours and they cannot charge you for anything with it. So that's the first topic. And now we're moving on to the second one, which is how can you improve security on your phone? So there are three ways. No, there's more than three ways. There are five ways um, on how you can do that. So the first one is uh, enabling uh, your user password and associated data destroy. So, if you enable security passwords, that's pretty obvious because um, no one can hack in unless you tell uh, people about uh, your password. So, the second one is enabling device data encryption. So, what this is, it's a mobile gadget that has possibility to enable this capability. So, it basically improves your security on the next lines. So third way is to enable an auto lock feature, which is basically when you leave your phone on or your iPod too long, it'll automatically shut down and it'll go back to the lock screen. So fourth way is uh, creating a regular backup of the mobile data that are encrypted and password protected. So this is to regularly backup your phone or any passwords to change to uh, make security stronger. And the last way is to stay safe when using the mobile bra uh, browser. Um, and this is pretty obvious as well because if you don't stay safe when using it, um, viruses may go into your computer, etc. Which will create um, a possibility of you know things like sniffing or sniffers to occur and hack into your systems. So the last topic we'll be talking about is how harmful it is to use a computer for too long. So as everyone knows, um, using a computer for too long, it is really bad for you. And we have an article here uh, by Victoria Gregory and a quote by her saying that the, tele the Telegraph <laughs> reported in 2009 that teenagers spend on average 31 hours online a week. The effects of such extens extensive computer usage have been long debated and studies have shown various long-term and short-term health problems attributable to excessive computer usage. So we'll summarize a bit of this. So basically things that can harm, <clears throat> things that can harm you are uh, repetitive strain injuries. And this is um, occurring when areas of the body have been subjected to repetitive movements over a long period of time. So another one is eye strain. So it will basically, it's pretty obvious because uh, it happens um, if you look at the computer too long without, uh, you know, resting your eyes for a period of time. And that's it. And in conclusion, uh, this was Ryan Yip with the daily technology newscast. And remember to check in tomorrow for more on the latest technology news. Have a good day.